Good morning, everybody. It's Ramona, your independent Sensi consultant. It is early here in New Minas. It's about 7.10. I'm awake a little bit early for work, so I thought I would <clears throat> get the bricks uh, reviewed for you. I did get my nose back after COVID. I am so, so, so thankful for that. Um, and so, um, so for the last few days, I've been melting the bricks and some of the scents of the season collection, which will go up on Scentsy Saturday. But anyway, we're going to talk bricks this morning. Um, the first one is not part of the holiday collection, but it is a brick and I did get it. Part of the Disney collection, the 50th anniversary celebration called Iridescent. And it is a very light princess pink color, I would say. Cinderella would love it, I'm sure. Um, now, this is, where are my notes for this one? Because it was, oh yeah. Cedarwood, citrus, sorry. Cedarwood, citrus, peony, and apple blossom. I was not going to get it just from the scent notes and from my my teammates, um, my Scentsy teammates said it is quite floral um, and perfumey, which it is. However, then somebody said, it is very similar to Philosophy Amazing Grace, which I love, 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 love. Um, so yes, it is perfumey. Um, it is a little floral. And it did, why does she do that when I'm trying to talk, Alexa? Um, so while it is perfumey, I do think it is very similar to Amazing Grace. It is very strong, though, in the warmers. The throw is like a 9 out of 10. So in I have six warmers going, and I put half of those giant cubes. Way too much. Way, 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 way too much. Um, probably a quarter of a, one of these big brick cubes in a warmer is plenty, plenty, plenty. I really overdid it. Um, it is strong. It is perfumey. And if you like Amazing Grace, I think you'll like it. I like this. I put way too much in. I think when I put less in, I will like it even more. Okay, now let's get to the holiday bricks. Okay, so caramel chestnut is one that I was able to melt before I got COVID and I loved it. Let me see. I have the set notes right here. Uh, I'm way too close to the camera too. Um, silky caramel vanilla cozy up to warm chestnut. Now the chestnut note kind of concerned me. I'm not a big fan of chestnut things i haven't let me take that back i haven't had a lot of wax or experience with chestnut notes in wax however the couple i've had didn't really wow me so i was kind of nervous about it however this is really really good caramel vanilla and chestnut and it is just really it is caramely it is sweet but the um sorry the chestnut note makes it less sweet you did you do it get kind of a nutty um quality to it or a, a cozy warmth the chestnut brings a cozy warmth and tones down the the um sweetness so i really like this one and i gave this one scent appeal a nine considering i wasn't didn't think i was gonna like it i gave it a nine and the throw was very decent as well seven to seven point five uh, the next one is Frosted Petals. Looks like this. And it is like a pretty, like, lilac-y color. And um, Frosted Petals, Snowberry, White Currant, Jingle Bell, Orchid, and Sheer Musk. This one I actually liked a little bit better than what I thought I would, based on the scent notes and based on Cold Sniff. I thought I was not going to like it. Quite perfumey. It is a little perfumey, not near as perfumey as iridescent. Um, I think the musk in here really kind of tones it down and the snowberry and white currant. So all together, it was quite pleasant. Um, the Jingle Bell Orchid, I'm not sure what a Jingle Bell Orchid is, but we're going to assume some kind of floral note. So you do get the floral note, but like I said, the snowberry and the currant and the musk just kind of um, tone it down. I wouldn't say you get berry note in here. Um, I, I'm sure it's there because I'm not getting all floral, but it's very, very nice. It's, um, how do I explain it? It's kind of, it's kind of like a clean white perfume, if that makes any sense. It's not a heavy, oppressive, you know, 
old lady scent. Um, I would wear this as, as a cologne. I would definitely wear this. So it's very light. It's sheer, a little bit of floral. It was nice. <clears throat> Next is Icicles and Evergreen. And I feel like I've melted a whole lot of this and reviewed a whole lot of this in recent. Uh, I think in the last month, I've it's been up on Scentsy Saturday. Um, so I like this. I mean, I don't dislike it. Um, I would not say that there's anything unique about it as far as winter, Christmas tree, you know, evergreen scents, uh, blue eucalyptus, pine maple, and crystallized sugar. You do get the sugar in here, which kind of, um, uh, the sugar kind of, uh, less makes, um, the sugar tones down the eucalyptus and pine needle, needle and makes it less astringent. So there is a little bit of sweetness in there. And I do like it. I gave it a 7. And the throw, I would say, is medium 7 to 7.5 on that one. Uh, maraschino sugar cookie. Ooh, yummy. Am I glad this is in a brick? Yes, I am. Uh, this came out last year. Was it one of the scents of the season? Or maybe it was a scent of the month. Not sure. Um, but anyway, I loved it. A lot of people loved it. If you love bakery, you're definitely going to love this one. Uh, sugar cookie dough baked with vanilla and drizzled with sweet maraschino cherry glaze. It is definitely bakery. It is definitely strong. Um, it, it definitely, the sugar cookie is like the prominent note, but you do get the, the maraschino cherry in there as well. Which, uh, you know, cherry and almond sometimes are in the same scent family. So it is kind of almondy, cherry, that kind of interchangeable note, if you know what I mean. But it's definitely bakery. You definitely get the sugar cookie in here. And it is really, really good. I'm definitely glad I have a brick of that. Uh, maraschino cherry. Um, let's see. Did I tell you about... I don't think I did. Yes, I did. Uh, maraschino cherry. Uh, scent appeal nine. Throw eight. Thumbs up. Then finally, we have Winter's Eve, and it is a really nice blue wax. Very cool and refreshing. Notes here are Evergreen Forest, Winter White Cedar, and Sparkling Bergamot. Now, you're going to say, well, aren't those, isn't it basically the same as Icicles and Evergreen? Similar, yes, and that will be a good assumption, and I'm going to make the same comparison here now. So... To me, icicles and evergreen is more astringent from the pine and the eucalyptus, where the uh, winter's eve, um, it does have evergreen, winter white cedar. So I think the cedar note makes it a little woodsy and the sparkling bergamot. And normally I don't care for bergamot, which is kind of crazy, but it, it brightens it up and makes it cool. So this one, I would say, is more astringent. If you like eucalyptus type astringency, if you know, you know what I'm talking about, this one is still an, uh, you know, a evergreen scent, but it's crisper and cooler and not astringent. I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. I don't know. Um, let me see where my scent, my uh, scent appeal for Winter's Eve is eight and the throw was an eight as well. So I'm really happy with that one and I'm really happy my nose is working really good now. Okay, so that is the bricks, and so they are available now, and there is a bundle you can buy. There's a bundle of two. If you and a buddy each want to buy two different ones and then cut them in half, you have each have four half bricks of different scents, or just go all in and get them all. Um, so this Saturday, I'll be melting. Uh, somebody chose, I have to look at my notes, two of the scents of the season, which I will melt, which I've already melted, um, and uh, that'll go up on Saturday. And then <clears throat> next Saturday, I'll melt the other two and review those as well. So be, I don't think there'll be a pick. We'll just knock them out. Alrighty then. Okay. I need to go to work now. So, um, I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, I hope you got the all through the night warmer. I set my alarm and got it. Surprisingly, it lasted through about half the day, which the consultants, we were quite surprised about that. We thought it would, it would fly out the door, but it didn't. So hopefully you got your hands on it before it did sell out. Um, uh, there's new, oh, and thank you everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody who helped out with the fundraiser. I was able to, I gave all of my commission on those orders 
to the nursing home, which equaled a little over $1,300. So I'm super excited about that. They are very excited. I'm not sure what they're going to do with it, but when they know and I know, I will definitely share with you guys because I'm very thankful and the nursing home is very, very thankful as well. So we appreciate that. Anyhow, off to work I go. I hope everybody has a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.